What is your first football memory, Kate? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it goes so far back. It's I don't know if it's a memory or if I made it up, but um, probably when the Giants were in the Super Bowl, I don't know how old I was. You'll probably be able to tell me um, if you so do fast 1990, math. There's 86 and 90 with the Parcells years. Yeah, so... so was it 86 that um, Whitney Houston sang the national anthem? That was anthem? 1990, right? Okay, so yeah, that's when There was I, the Gulf War and everything going on I think in I the was world. seven. You were seven? Was at the, Rose the Rose Bowl, Bowl here yep. in Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's my first memory because Whitney Houston sang and it blew my mind. <laughs> um, I didn't watch the rest of the game. I was seven and I'm I was... Sure. Yeah. We were we were making, um like, we were cutting out napkins into, into mm-hmm. I don't know designs uh that's what we did for the whole super bowl um the designs were jeff hostetler jerseys <laughs> yes exactly cutting? okay got it um but yeah no i just remember her singing and then everyone being very excited and crying mm-hmm. at the end um yeah that was in tampa florida that was in the old sombrero in florida okay not here at the Rose yeah bowl. because i think then we went to to well, disney or something that makes sense yeah wow so you know at my first um, year at the NFL Network. We started it in 2003. And we, in 2004, got to go to an owner's meeting for the first time. And um, we got to go inside the owner's meeting room. And I'll never forget it. It was just r- mind-blowing to me. And just watching where the owners all sat. And I, I saw that the Giants' ownership sat next to the Steelers' ownership. And I asked, what's up with that? Because somebody told me that's the way it always is. And they said there's a long family history between the two. Yeah. And that's when I learned about your family history, Mm -hmm. that the Steelers and the Giants go way back. And your parents are essentially, you know, Wellington Mara's son, right? And and Art Rooney's daughter. Granddaughter, yeah. Granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. I I recently did, um, I narrated a podcast that Michael Strahan produced, um, and it's all about the history of the NFL. And it's, it was so wild to me reading, narrating this because I, I actually was talking about my family for so much of the podcast. Yes. A lot of it I knew, but a lot of it I didn't know, you know, just, um, details about how it all began. Mm -hmm. Um, And it was so emotional being able to read all that and, you know, really get a sense of where um, we can't we come from. And and, um, my mom and dad met because because of, uh, I think, an owner's meeting back in the day. And then. Right. Yeah. And then they ended up going to the same college. They went to Boston College. But um, I'm pretty sure I I could be wrong. My dad hopefully is watching and saying I'm right, but uh, I think they met at, a, at an owner's meeting a long time ago. Because again, I was just blown away. Like they've, and it's sort of like a same seats policy at these owner's meetings. <laughs> right. And nobody was going to sit between the Giants and the Steelers. Yeah, you don't don't get between no, family. <laughs> not, pretty much. And yeah. it, it is it is kind of wild. And so do, does it blow your mind when you see your, your grandfather's nickname on the football? Like, yeah. Does that- yeah, and, and uh, you know, I have three kids, and so trying to explain that to them um, is pretty wild. I, even, I, it still blows my mind mm-hmm. now. Um, yeah, it's, spe- it's a very, you know, it's a really special thing to be a, a part of. Um, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around. Either. Yeah, right. I mean, the Duke is the football. Yeah, that's my, gran- my grandpa. That was his nickname. Grandpa Wellington mm-hmm. Mara. Do you, do you um, have a favorite Giants game that you've been to? Anything that you recall? Um, um, the, well, yeah, uh, uh, the the Super Bowl when we beat the Patriots, that was the first time. That mm-hmm. was pretty spectacular. That was in Arizona. Um, when, yeah. Uh, By the way, he's a diehard Patriot fan well, over there, Kate, well, so I know. I know there are a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> sit, sit in, Chris. I didn't play the game. Okay. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's a, who doesn't love an underdog story? I, an underdog story is it. That, and yes. that's what we were. Right. And then we weren't. I know. Right. <laughs> there were tears and it was it was so exciting. Yeah. I mean, I, I will never forget that. The helmet catch is just. I mean. The, the helmet yeah. catch I mean. was something else. And then I was on the field getting ready to work afterwards and, and Plexico 
Burris came right at me, mm-hmm. and I thought to myself, when the ball's in the air, I'm like, he's wide open. Like, what what's going on here? And it was, oh, wow, you were right there. I was truly right there because wow, I had to go cool. to work right afterwards. Um, that was unbelievable. And then, you know, Coughlin and what happened with the team that year and Strahan, what he since has become mm-hmm. coming off of all that. It's truly one of the most amazing stories that I've personally witnessed. Yeah, you know? it's it's it was pretty awesome to be there for that. And to just see my dad, you know, my dad who works for the team and, um, you know, my, my whole family was just so um, excited and emotional about it all. And then emotional, you sang the national anthem, if I'm not mistaken, after the passing of your grandfather. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they, they, my family asked me to sing it then. I still can't believe I ever sang the national anthem at all. I'm not, um, you know, the greatest singer of all time. I'm more, it's more of a hobby. And, right. um, but those, those are all my cousins at the time. There's many more of us now. <laughs> my dad is one of 11 kids and everyone has at least three children, at least. My God. Wow. It's ridiculous. Okay. Whose jersey are you wearing there? Who are you rocking? I think it, I think it said the, the age of my grandpa when he passed. Oh, I, I see think. what that was. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a very special um, experience to all be there together, mm-hmm. you know, to um, for my grandpa's sake. So do you go to Steelers games too? Or I mean, what's your... Is there Not any? as often, only okay. because uh, my... You know, I grew up in New York, and my uh, and I, so I go back home a lot to be with my family. Sure. Um, so we we still go to Giants games um, every year, and uh, the Steelers is just a little bit harder to get to. But right, I am a huge Steelers fan as well. Well, I mean, you, I mean, come on now, this is this <laughs> yeah. Is how could family. I not be? Yeah, I know. And obviously, your sister uh, got both last names for the. For, how no, did... you know what? So. Rooney is her na- is now her first name, okay. but both of us have the middle name Rooney. So you do, um, okay. or I used to before I got married. But yeah, right. it it was Kate Rooney Mara, and my sister's uh, uh, name before she was an actor was um, Trisha Rooney Mara, and she mm-hmm. just dropped her first name and went by Rooney. Mm-hmm. Um, which now it's funny because it feels like that was sort of always her name. What her happens if they ever face in the Super Bowl? Has your family ever had this conversation? Um, in any people way, shape, have or form? people have asked that, but. That we just win then, no matter what. Like what? It doesn't matter. You're definitely going to the trophy Did ceremony. For <laughs> <laughs> <Poor> us. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I will say, yes. my dad works has worked for the Giants yes. my entire life. Yes, I grew up at Giants Stadium, and I'm a New Yorker, so yes. you know, I I feel I do feel closer to the my the Giants because yes. that's what I grew up with and. You know, it's it's a it's my dad's life. Right. So I still love the Steelers. And if they played each other, uh, you know, it but would be great. Just a guarantee. It would just be great. You're <laughs> going to get a photograph with the Lombardi trophy by the end of the night, no right. matter what. Right. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.